things are all tied up this week and we find out the answer to the burning question of why. We dive all into it right now on AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days starting now. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz Happy Sunday, happy Oscar Day, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dish and Days, where we give you a full recap of this week's episodes of NBC's number one hit so far, bro. <laughs> Days of our lives. I am your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by my usual gaggle of gals. We have to my far left. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Michael Mattis. What's <laughs> up? And, of course, we have the very beautiful. Hey, y'all. Tammy Gavea. And shout out to James Law Jr. and mm-hmm. Mark J. Freeman, who are joining us probably in our chat and via YouTube. <laughs> via um, satellite. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, the burning question was, is Lorraine Love going to be here? Yeah. Well, he hopped Everybody on a flight. Asking. Yeah, he <laughs> hopped on a flight to Columbus, Ohio, but trust and believe he will be in the house <laughs> in Spirit some way. Presence presence shall be here. Be here. Yes. yes. Um, and if you all are tuning in live, thank you so much for tuning in. And later on in our show, we will have the dynamic duo of Chabby, Yay! Billy Flynn, and Marcy Miller for our second hour. We're going to have a full hour, hour with them. But we wanted to make sure we got through the recap first. Uh, if you're joining us for the first oh, time, welcome. Uh, make sure you like us and follow us on so- all social media platforms. We are Dish and Days on Facebook and Instagram and underscore Dish and Days on Twitter, the at is implied. And of course, if you are a huge fan of other soap operas like General Hospital and Young and the Restless, we also have recaps for those. Make sure you check out the GH Report and Restless Rap right after our show. And if you are listening to us on iTunes, give us a five star and a lovely comment. Let us know how much you love us, how much you like us, and how much you want more of us. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think of this week of days? Oh. Oh, I have some thoughts. Oh, yeah. Mr. Thoughts. <laughs> He's full of them. He he has he, been. He's full of. Them. He's full of. He's always full of thoughts. My, uh, I will my, say. I will say. Like just you know, I'll get more in detail when we go over the storylines. But Chriselle Hartley, mm-hmm. amazing, great mm-hmm. performance. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, great send off for Chabby. Oh yeah, yes. that was very well done. I was very pleased with it. Uh, the fire. Uh uh-uh. uh. I ain't dun. buying it. <laughs> Uh, That's we, all she has to say. We shall we shall see about that about that fire because <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> because trust and believe on Friday's cliffhanger we were all like What? what? Sort yeah. of. We yeah. were gypped. I mean, no, yeah. that was a gyp. No, you're right. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. about that. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about all of yeah. it. Let's dive into it now. It's now time to start Dishing Days. Tamala. Moi? You. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, you have to do the eyes with it yes. because you know that's what makes it more and I dramatic. Do, I had to do the yeah, yeah, yeah. the old yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. So let's see. Steve, I'll give it to pearls. us again. Clutch your pearls. That's very like old school I like know. soap opera. <laughs> All right. We need a noir show. <laughs> right. They just, they just yeah. use that exact sound effect in um, one of the promos. Uh, did they? That exact sound, yeah. <laughs> huh. Someone's paying attention. You know, I do want a quick shout out. Uh, Angela Bennett said hello to everyone here at the show. Hi, Angela so, Bennett. Hi, hello, Angela, Angela Bennett. Bennett. And, and first of all, shout out to the 216 people we yeah. had waiting. 264. 264. Sorry, we've never had that many fabulous. people waiting for us. Right. Thank y'all. Yay. You love us. You love Millie. That's what you're waiting for. <laughs> um, but don't go anywhere. Millie. We have them. But oh, we're going to get through this recap. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, starting things off with. Chad, Abigail, oh. and the farewell. Yeah. This was wedding. so nicely done. It, it wasn't was. rushed. I wasn't disappointed. Every, everything that needed to be touched relationship-wise, yeah. I felt like was touched and resolved in a way. Mm-hmm. I don't really know if it was necessary for them to say, like, eh, maybe it was. The Stefan? I think you know it was, mean? it was, I don't know like if it was closure? necessary, but I appreciated it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was done really well. I, you know, th- there were a lot of like, I saw some tweets regarding that moment between Abigail and Stefan and, you know, Chad shaking, you know, Stefan's hand and things like that. I do appreciate the nice wrap up mm-hmm. of that because I think it was such a oh, how dare you kind of storyline um, to where you know we felt for Abigail, some people felt for Stefan, some like there was so much going on with yeah, that. Yeah, it was very um, divided. And also, you know, the battle of the brothers and like Chad and Stefan going after it. And and I think that 
to have Stefan kind of shyly because he looked he looked so sad and yeah. so just he like he looked remorseful. He looked, yeah. he looked vulnerable. sad. Vulnerable yeah, for vulnerable. Once. Yeah. Very. Because he's such a lonely, isolated character. Yeah, and that just kind of drove it home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and for him to you know apologize for for what he did and but also you know remind Abigail that there is a part of you that I do love mm-hmm. and that loved me too. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it was and I think for the first time we saw like Abigail just kind of understand. And just go, okay, yeah. you know, I appreciate that. And then for Chad to look at Stefan and go, you know what? Good luck, because you're gonna need it. <laughs> and then he, and when he said brother, yeah, just that word was just kind of like, like a bridge over troubled waters. Mm. You know what I mean? Shook hand, and he was like, all right, I'm off to start my life with my family yeah. in Paris. Because he really, Chad really does have everything he really, yeah. really wants and needs. Mm-hmm. So there was no reason to get into fisticuffs with Stefan or try no. to drive any mm-hmm. point home. Yeah. It's like, you know what? I have everything I need. I'm so excited about our future together. Yeah. See ya. Now, uh, Everything for me was just, I was feeling like Julie and, and Jennifer <laughs> when, like, it was like, what? Yeah, you and Chad are about to get, what? Y'all are getting mad? What? Y'all leaving? Like, I was, I was just like, her I can't take it. Her performance was absolutely fantastic. Just yeah. that yeah. moment to moment as um, Abby was telling her, okay, do you want the good news or the bad news? And they both were like, bad. bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was hysterical. And just the reveal. Every yeah. time Abigail said, well, now there's this. Jennifer, Melissa, just was in the moment. Melissa Reeves and, brings it. When oh they give her God. good stuff, she brings it. Yeah. 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 And, when, and when she said to Abby, okay, I need the good news yeah. right now. Give yeah, it yeah. to me right now. Yeah. That was, that was brilliant. And let me tell you, everybody needs a Julie in their life because when I tell you, she was on it. She was like, <laughs> yeah. what you need, a string quartet? Got it. Yeah. What you need, flowers? Got Please. it. What, do, what else do you need? Because I got it. <laughs> yes. And I was like, Julie, you better get this all underway in 2.5 scenes. Yeah. <laughs> I want her on speed dial for those special moments. Right? She knew how to just take care of and everything. And you just feel safe with her. Like, you oh, know it's going to yeah. get done. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the simplicity of the wedding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, it wasn't a big to-do. It was it a wasn't... beautiful Horton moment. And everybody, yes. that, everybody that needed to be there was, was there. I thought about that. Like, okay, who's going to be there? And, yeah. and really the they essentials. They included Kate. Yes. yes. Which I thought, the, the whole Chad forgiving oh, Kate yes. and her coming the to the hospital, wedding. The I felt that that was... The, n- maybe not necessary but I'm glad that they did it yeah. that they got kind of closure because Chad and Kate do have that history you know even before like it goes back years yeah. Yeah. when before Billy Flynn was um, well I I think it was because I think you know there was a a very I always felt like Kate was looked at as a motherly figure mm-hmm, absolutely even though you know that wasn't his mother you mm-hmm. know Kate really protected Chad Kate felt a responsibility to yes. like you, you just said to protect him because yeah. his mom Unfortunately, that that fell demise, down a flight yeah. of stairs, and you know, <laughs> done. Yeah. So it was. Yeah. It was great that they. You know, I'm always happy when they include Kate where she needs to be included. Yeah. yeah. And and Chad, it was a beautiful moment when mm-hmm. he said to her, "You're you're all the family of God." Yeah. I felt that those that was, were Lauren Coslow. I felt like those were real tears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Those. I don't think those whenever, were like forced or anything. Like those tears started to come down. Like those are real. Whenever yeah. those these are real tears are right being there. played out, where you know this is a send off, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know all that emotion is real. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I did like that. You know. Chad also got to say goodbye to, and we'll get into their full storyline later, but Sonny and Will. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, they're caught up in some, in some mess stuff. right they now. They weren't able to make the wedding. <laughs> no, but, but I like the fact that, that they were able to just kind of have that moment, even with all the stuff that Chad and Sonny have been through, you yeah. know, with, you know, the coffee house and, the, and, and that whole ordeal and Titan and, like, taking over CEO over him and, and then... The what, sexual harassment, yeah. All of that, yeah. like you know, it was a it, again, it was a nice closure. And for two seconds, I felt like, like I saw the characters, but I saw them absolutely mm-hmm. as if like their relationship, yeah, and yeah, friendship absolutely. through the years. Like this is our last scene together. Yeah. This is like our last hurrah, and we're just gonna make it light and fun. And Billy was so tactile; I he know. was like grabbing yeah. them and kissing and them. Kissing and kissing them. It was that's so what great. that's what I thought was hilarious. Like the like the the grab and the <laughs> kiss on the forehead and like buddy. You know, like Billy, that Billy's thing. known for do, doing that with yeah. those two in particular. Yeah, like the Sunny Bunny thing goes back to that. And, yeah, very yeah. sweet. It was so very real. It was a so, it, it yeah. was definitely a, a great moment. And then the wedding, 
Mm-hmm. Um, I loved what uh, what Abigail was wearing. What she mm-hmm. wore, oh, yes. Yeah. It reminded me of um, the end of Sex in the City, the movie, when like they went through that whole yes. thing, yes. and then she just like got married to they Big in just Hall. a simple yeah. dress, you know, like. You know, just a simple white pantsuit, which I think, FYI, Kate Mancy took that, the jacket. <laughs> no, she did. She, she posted took... on Instagram that she did not take that jacket. So, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Wink. Yeah. <laughs> as as she was wearing it in, like, another, <laughs> at, like, another event, I was like, hmm. <laughs> um, but I thought she looked beautiful. Mm-hmm. I thought the ceremony was beautiful. I loved how... <laughs> Little Thomas uh. was just kind of like, <laughs> and they were cracking moments. up. Did yeah. you see those moments? They were looking over and just yeah. cracking up because he had that. <laughs> yeah, because like there was a moment where they like cut to Casey or uh, JJ. Yeah, and he even he did like a, like a like a like <laughs> a little nod to him, like, "Hey, buddy, you yeah. know, I see you over there." But it was like it was super cute, and um, that moment when Jack was like, "I have something to say," I was like, "What you got to say?" Yeah, you like, need to sit down. And, but I. <laughs> That's what I thought. You just need to sit down. But I. Tammy was ready to. <laughs> I love how he just kind of said, you know, I may not remember, but it, you almost felt like he knew that this was like a beautiful moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that, you know, he could see the love between Chad and Abby. And, and almost Julie like he said approved. that too yeah. to him. It's like, it's, you should be here. You needed to be here yeah. to know what this family's about and to mm-hmm. feel the love. Yeah. I was I was curious if they were gonna have him walk her down the aisle. Yeah. But she just kind of strutted herself. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that, that was, was like a, like an empowering Absolutely. moment. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like all the stuff I've been through, mm-hmm. I got I this. I got yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. I'm walking to my future. Yes. Good. <laughs> that was a good one. That was good. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you like that? Yeah. But but um oh oh what the moment also back at the Demira Mansion. When Chad looked at oh. Stefano's photo. Yes. And kind of like. The portrait. Yeah. Yeah. And it was kind of like, I'll be back soon. Mm-hmm. And I was like. <laughs> and <moi. laughs> I, thought, I, I thought that was a, I thought that was a great touching moment too. Absolutely. Kind of like a, like, you know, like a no matter where I go, I'm still going to be a Demir and I'm still going to uphold you. The tradition. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but I'll be back. Like, yes. I, this isn't like goodbye forever. It's just kind of like a see you later. See you later. Yeah. Got to get my shiz together. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that he's still part of the. De- I mean, he's just he's. They, they've he's, kept that portrait, Stefano, right? Yeah. Who no, is? I was just. I'm glad that Chad is still running the, in the company. Oh, got you it. Know? Yeah. yeah. He's just not like taking off to another country and right. like wants nothing to do with the with the family. Yeah, yeah. He's still a part of the family, mm-hmm. just in Patty, yeah. gay Patty. It, it was Patty. it was all very positive. Yeah, yes. there was no like no grudges, no no. It's very um, clean. Yeah, and very it focused clean. on what what needed to be focused on, exactly. and that was mm-hmm. that was their love and their future. Yeah. Um, let's see. Meredith Cox says, "Little Asher, who plays Thomas, looks like a mini blonde Billy Flynn. So <laughs> cute." Which I agree. Um, CJ Bedell says, "Always prefer uh, oh." This is a, a, pre, a, prefer, a preference over Chabby with an I over Chabby with a Y. Okay. Um, oh, he's he felt like Marcy Miller and Billy Flynn's version of Chabby seem more like siblings than lovers. Oh, chemistry-wise. Yeah. Well, we'll kind of like, that's Dabble a question that. to, to talk to him about. Uh, Annie Gowen said, if I were Chad, Hi, I would have taken Stefano's portrait and ran. <laughs> The it's son, a big portrait, Annie. The, son that, <laughs> the son that Stefano knew, loved, and uh, knew and loved deserved to have it more than the son that Stefano never knew existed. Mm. So, okay. Mm. What was it? Uh, Daquan said, "Let's see, Chabby with an eye had potential, but then <laughs> Dina stuck her poison in the pen." <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I don't. I don't know. I should probably read ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being spontaneous with this chat room can, be, uh, yeah. can be dangerous. Uh, oh, uh, Nadia Ch says, "I love Millie, and I will miss them forever." Yes. A lot of people, a lot of people uh, were Chabby fans, and oh, yeah. especially uh, fans of uh, of uh, the two of them. Together. The two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and you know what? Uh, there was a. Uh, 
I don't want to say controversy, but there were questions uh, <laughs> about uh, Kate Mancy not being here today. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was asked. She's mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately uh, out of out of the out of town right now. Um, but everyone has their preference between these two. But for some reason, I've always felt they both work. Yeah, absolutely. You know what like I mean? that's the thing. Like last year when. It was announced that Marcy Miller was leaving, and at the same time it was announced that Kate Manzi was coming back. It was yeah. like a, oh, shoot. But then it was like a, oh. But, almost like everything's going to be okay, because, like, th- th- I don't know how to articulate my point. But, just say yeah, it. But, I mean, I was just trying to to continue on with yeah. your point. That well, they, they both per- they both had their own version of the character. Mm-hmm. They both worked. And served yeah. and, Abigail well. Exactly. Yes. Okay, there Absolutely we go. Absolutely served and, well. and I also felt like we... We had the same worry for both. Mm-hmm. We were worried when Marcy came on about so how she would take on yeah. the role of, of Abigail, and she did an amazing job. Absolutely. And then we were worried when Kate Mancy was coming back, back after Marcy, <laughs> and we were like, oh, Lord, how is Kate Mancy going to handle this? Yeah. But they both handled it very beautifully. and um, They're professionals. They know what yes. they're doing. Yeah. And, and, you know, a, very, a big kudos to, to Kate Mancy because she came in after this huge DID storyline, and she literally had to pick that up and also play that. You know, when she had to fake being uh, being when she was, Abigail, yeah. um, you know, she had to still embody that same essence that Marcy brought to to Gabby with a Y. So both actresses did an amazing job portraying mm-hmm. Abigail. Both of them had great chemistry with Billy. And I'm pretty sure that there are moments, and that's actually a question I have for Billy, is like, were there any adjustments that he had to make between the two actresses? For sure. But Overall, the character of Abigail never suffered, was amazing. and the, the storyline never suffered. Oh, no, because when when Marcy did get brought in, I was worried. Yeah, because I was a I'm a huge Kate fan, and that's yeah. all I knew. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was it was beautiful. Yeah, the whole thing was beautiful. Um, and uh, oh, I, I see this note here, and I want to make sure uh, we mention that too on um, how Chad decided to step down from Demera mm-hmm. and not fight. You know, right. right. Stefan for CEO as well. He was just kind of like, you know what? I can't blame. Why? Yeah, I can't blame him. Just yeah, yeah. it's just like, kind of like up. yeah, like let me just go off and just mm-hmm. do my family, my family, yeah, yeah. and just be there for them. Heal a little bit. And it was yeah. great you know? that they had like the whole kidnapping to to go off of from that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he didn't just decide that on his own. He had an experience that made him realize mm-hmm. that. And so it made sense for him to make that Once decision. he was able to give her back Charlotte, mm-hmm. that was the turning point. That's yes. when it all solidified and what was important was his family, and that was it. That family was Everything more important. Everything became less yep. complicated. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we talk about this later on, but there was that moment um, when Stefan's alone and he, you know, destroys the chess mm-hmm. pieces and Chloe walks in. Yes. Now, was it you? Someone said that Stefan and Chloe harken back Almost to Maggie and Victor. Oh yeah, that was me. Was that you? Yeah, yeah. When I saw that, when she, mm-hmm. when Chloe walked in and said, "Ooh, you know, having a bad day. You yeah. okay?" I totally thought that because there was there was almost a sense of calm that yes, came over him once she walked in the room. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was almost that moment of like he didn't want her to see him like that. That vulnerable. And but yeah. then he felt peace, safe, and safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. That was a good moment. That was a good moment. I want to mention uh, Sarah in our in our chat room also uh, put it very lovely. Uh, she said, when Kate left, I was pissed. Yeah. And it, <laughs> exactly. So and was it, I. It took a minute to accept Marcy, but then I loved her. And I was upset when Kate came back. <laughs> then I re-loved her. Both <laughs> fabulous actresses. And I and That's so perfect. Yeah, it's, that is it's, perfect. It's such a yeah, it's such a, a moment to uh, to remember. All right. Um, that's pretty much it, and we'll we'll get more into it once uh, once Billy uh, comes in. Yeah. Uh, but now we're gonna move on to Ben, Yikes. Sierra, oh, Jordan, God. Hope, Ted, Claire, Trip. That whole storyline, and just you know. Ugh. First of all, when it when it started on on Monday with the boom of Jordan just like whacking. Did you feel that? Yep. Yeah. I felt that. Tray oh yeah. On my head. Yeah. Because it was such a beautiful moment between Sin, yeah. and then all of a sudden the sister comes on. Psycho to come. Yeah. yeah, but it's so interesting to see that Jordan has felt like she's had to have this protective role, mm-hmm. not only with Ben, but apparently with her mom. That whole yeah. backstory. 
Oh my god. That first of all, uh, Chriselle Styles, like kudos to that yeah. that backstory oh. moment because and and you could even see like Rafe was like, "Oh my gosh," mm-hmm. because he was like, "I'm looking at you and you look the same, but you are not the same person." Right. And I feel like now it kind of makes sense that the accident that she had may have triggered her yep. into going back into the accident right. that she had with her mom. Yeah. Thinking that, like, you know, I've got to protect them. And she thought she was going to die, but she lived. And maybe in her mind, she's thinking, like, I lived because, you know, a higher power, God, was like, you now have to look over Ben. Yeah. And that's when she grabbed Ben and left because, it, you know, they came from a very abusive, you know, situation. Yeah. So, oh, the the yeah. term what, what was the term that you know the being marked? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it mm-hmm. was just oh, uh, do, yeah. I don't want to go there. I don't want to. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, That was uh, that was yeah. That was tough. I'm that, glad I'm glad they gave her this. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> no, I'm glad that they gave her this material because I felt like the last time she was very. Like she she did the best with what she was given, but I don't feel like she was given a lot of great material the last time around, and none of what happened to Jordan was ever resolved before she left. Yeah. So I'm glad she kind of came back, and it's it's not like that anything was resolved. She still you know has her her issues and whatnot, but I'm glad she would. Jordan was able to come back and get a somewhat of um, or Chriselle was able to come back and just get this awesome material. Yeah, get the spotlight that she deserved. That, mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people are, are giving uh, kudos to <laughs> Chriselle for doing an amazing job with, with Jordan. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that was just such a such a moment. Yeah. And, oh, wow. So Monday's episode when Ben is in the room and his hand is shaking yeah. and he's sweating profusely. I actually had to rewind to the the struggle scene with him. Mm-hmm. Um, the struggle with with him and Jordan. With Jordan, yeah. Like, did he get splashed with water? Like, cause seriously, yeah. like, what was the progression with that? It's like, no, this is just him physically reacting to the fact that he almost killed his sister yeah. Yeah. and actually wanted to. Yeah, and I and I think that shook him as well because he's like. I'm reverting back to this guy that I don't like. The shaking, the sweating, <laughs> yeah. it was really, that was amazing. But it's kind of like, it was a moment of like, Jordan was going to do in Sierra to protect her. So then Ben felt the need to jump in, and then then there was that struggle, and then I felt like in his mind, he became protective and was like, you've got to stop this. And then turned the needle on her, and then Sierra was like, Ben, Ben, been listen to me like you know and kind of was um was trying to talk him off the ledge but then thank god rafe came in which by the way all of this is going on in this hospital ain't nobody is coming (laughs) did nobody hear that loud (laughs) across the head (laughs) was nobody hearing like commotion no nothing like aren't you trained to hear like bells and whistles and beeps and things and so well and sierra even said she was going to call she pushed the help button at some point yeah i don't remember at one point that was maybe they were short staffed i don't understand maybe no (laughs) but like you would have thought there you would have thought like the little nurse at the desk was like what's going on in there like nothing like beep are y'all okay? Like nothing. <laughs> um, so this whole commotion thing happened, and and finally Rafe came in and 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 you know broke it up. And Rafe and, is saving Kate. Rafe is saving. He's being George. the hero. He's, yeah. he's yeah. going into different rooms and being the hero. Listen, well, thank God for Rafe because <laughs> Lord Jesus, let me tell you who he came, <laughs> who he couldn't save. He couldn't save Hope from that kiss with Ted. <laughs> Would you want to be saved? Nah. Nah. I wouldn't want to be nah. saved. What What do we think about? Because now I feel like there's this tension between Hope and Ted. Mm-hmm. Are Are we digging it? Are we liking it? Like, I've been how digging we... it from day one. Me? No, you don't no. like Ted and and Hope together. I feel like he's being predatory towards a married woman. He's coming on oh. very strong. He knows that she's married. She's said, I think, back off a couple times. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he's still kind of. But I never. And get, I'm like, ew, yeah, leave but, her. And my thing would be like, ew, leave her alone. But That's I never my, get the sense that Hope doesn't have control. I mean, he could, right. he, he could cross some lines, but at the end of the day, Hope can kick him, knee him in the cajones. And that would be the end of the story. And she hasn't yet, so what's that telling us? <laughs> but I kind of like, 
I don't know, like, when, when I see Rafe and Hope together, like, I feel like there's no chemistry. I've never been on that team. Mm-mm, well, me I, neither. I, you know, because I never I, bought it. Because I feel like there's now such a disconnect. Like, even him going to Europe to help with Johnny. Like, I get it, but I don't. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you're still connected to Sammy. And then him just... going off to rescue <clears throat> Kate. Thankfully, he did. Yeah. But instead of going directly to Hope, he followed up on this lead that led to rescuing Kate. And it's like, why didn't you just... Well, it's a good thing he went with his Sam PD instinct. Cause... But there's also that flip side of... Well, he's, it shows that he still, you know, has some feels for Kate. Yeah. I think you that's think what so? they're... I think they're setting up a, a, a triangle, what? quad angle, whatever you want to... I love that. It. I like them too. I'm with, I'm with Gina Marie in, uh, in the chat room who said, Hope had googly eyes for Ted. Yep. <laughs> Yep, I and believe I think so. Rafe had re googly eyes. For what's, Kate. Funny, what's funny is in my mind, I think I'd be, if it was if it was reversed and Hope was the one making advances on Ted, I'd probably be all for it. But the fact that it's Ted, oh. I don't know why. But I just thought in my head, like, what if it was Hope? And I'd be, I'd probably be like, yeah, you go get him, girl. <laughs> Or maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. But. Here's something hilarious. Be- Becky Franklin in the chat says, Hi, does Rafe and Hope actually have a home? Like, never <laughs> I know. love things are just hanging at home. Yeah. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So. Uh, well, uh, but Katie Marie in here says uh, she thought that uh, Ted was more entertaining when he was with Kate. I like I that like pairing, them. too. Yeah, I like them, too. Because it, it both seem very powerful people. Yes. They were on equal playing games, yeah. kind of. Yeah. But I don't know. Um, oh, uh, oh, Dina, uh, Deanna Brown said uh, Hope shocked her by saying Bayview helped Ben. Because it was, was that a, moment was when... Coming, she's moment. coming around now, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. acknowledging that yeah. she was wrong. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that moment broke my heart when, when he apologized to Jordan. Mm-hmm. And she's all mascaras, all oh. messed up, and she's wrapped <laughs> up in that blanket, and her hair's all disheveled, and she says... It's okay, Ben, because that's just who you are, and that's always who you'll be. always be. I was like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's so harsh. How about the moment when uh, Rafe went to comfort Jordan after her story? Yeah. And then Hope walks in? I know, with the eyebrow. It's mm-hmm. like, don't. You don't, don't do that, Hope. But, but. Come on. It's almost, you have to put yourself in Hope's shoes. I like, know, I like, know. Like, you always with but, some chick. I know. <laughs> you know? It's easy. Yeah, I know. Exactly. My goodness always gracious. Always with the past one. And both, you know, he saved Kate, past lover. Now he's comforting Jordan, yeah. past lover. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, this is all setting up for a nice little classic soap love triangle, quad <laughs> angle. Something. Something. Um, okay, so then. <sighs> I know we're getting there. The moment where we all gagged was Friday yeah. when Sierra, Tripp, and uh, Claire were in Sierra's hospital room. Right. Mm-hmm. They were dis- re-discussing the fire. We have been wanting to know who started this fire since day one. Mm-hmm. Now, Cl- uh, Sierra was like, well, maybe it was Jordan that started both of them. And they mm-hmm. both started thinking. Then it cut to a mm-hmm. a very nervous Sierra. No, a nervous Claire. Claire. And it went to a flashback of her walking into the cabin and seeing Sierra laying on the bed, finding the little lighter and just going and you're like, what? Where did that come from? However, we didn't see her start the fire, y'all. We only saw her light the light the or start the the lighter. Well, no, I think she started it, but what, what this point wasn't a, to... this wasn't a surprise. No, it was not a surprise the, the... because thank you NBC.com for releasing that spoiler so photo annoying. photo further photo a week before it happened the after hyping that ooh on the twenty second you're gonna find out who started the fire and why. Because now what I'm doing is I'm avoiding um, social media during yeah. the week because yeah. I'll just happen upon something that mm-hmm. spoils everything. Mm-hmm. My my second issue, other than the fact that I was wrong about Ben. Possibly wrong. I'm about sorry. Ben what? Starting the fire. Possibly wrong. We did not see her start the fire yet, so mm-hmm. maybe next week I'll sing a different tune. However, you will be. Yes, my other I can't issue wait is to that. Hear the song. Okay, I expected us to see whoever started the fire start the fire and get a clear explanation as to why. I felt we were gypped out of a reveal. Like seeing her do this. No, not good enough. If you're gonna hype something for weeks, then there needs to be a payoff on the day that you say it's going to happen. Well, no. 
because I feel like Friday was a great like because now all weekend we're like, why did she do it? What's wrong with her? Yeah, no, I, I started and, the, and, drawing out the story and all this. And I feel like most of next week we're gonna figure out. It's gonna yeah, I know I, what I, I what happened. It, yeah. I do wish that mm. there wasn't that release of the photo, um, because then it really would have been like a jaw dropping moment. Would've exactly, pa- I would have passed out. Yeah. Exactly. I would have passed. I would have been like what? And I I feel gypped and angry that I wasn't allowed that moment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, NBC. Daquan, Daquan's telling me to relax. I will relax. Um, but you know there was a moment. With Trip and Claire, Claire sees Haley and Trip chatting, right? And mm-hmm. then you know Haley, Ooh, Haley the goes off. Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm saying oh. yeah. She, yeah. She had all the questions. She's Who was little, that? What were y'all talking about? Like, I never waited on her before. <laughs> <laughs> she. So. She. I'm sorry. I think I said this before. She reminds me of a little Sammy. I love that. A little Comparison. Sammy. Love it. A little Sammy. Just like Actually, like when been... Sammy was like her age. Yeah, exactly. Sammy was at her age when she was pulling all the... Out of control. The yeah. Drugging and whatnot. So seeing that side of Claire and seeing that... Mm-hmm. I could make the really... I could make that connection. Yeah. Because she's a little psycho. Okay. Mm. So That's next week, y'all... <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna figure that out. How many times is she gonna apologize to Sierra? I know. Yeah. How many times is she gonna oh have God. to apologize? How much more crap is she gonna pull? Ugh. All well, right, she's gonna have to apologize if she started the fire. So sorry for almost burning you up. Right. So yeah. let's get through uh, the rest uh, so that we can get to yeah. our yes. our wonderful yes. guests uh, who I just got to know are in the building. Yeah. Oh in my the God. house. So we're gonna. Chubby is in the house. We're going to get through everything and then um, bring them on in. So um, next up, and we have to take our time with this. Ah, yes. We have Will, Sonny, uh, and Leo. Uh, I'm surprised that Leo went ahead and said, you guys want to play hardball? Mm -hmm. Fine. And called uh, Eli Eli and Lonnie Mm -hmm. and said, they tried to kill me and I have proof. Yeah. Um, And I was just like, Oh, well, I think snap. I think you know once Gabby did what she did. That's he, a true friend. He's like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Fine. I yeah, love, I love that Gabby did that for them. That was fantastic. I love I, lo- I loved her devotion to those. Yes, two. Gabby is a tough chick. Yeah, and she I- was she was just like, uh, boo, you can't get out. That's double knot in the da 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 da. And um, <laughs> don't you think that Gabby chic pillow looks great? <laughs> and I think <laughs> I think do, 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 do. I think any store that sells rope in Salem. Ought to run background checks. They on should. <laughs> like, like I would. Uh, Taryn should be the store clerk of of Salem. Because I'd be like, I'd be like, y'all. I need to Gab- run your, I need to run your ID. Gabby came in here, girl. She buying rope. Somebody about to get got. <laughs> That's exactly it. Um, but she was, she was all for it. But I'm, I'm wondering like how this is going to play oh, out yeah. because Eli. Um, like when Sonny and Will were like, no, we didn't think he was dead and he's been blackmailing us. And, you know, Eli was like, let me go talk to Hope. And he and Hope are like, we believe we you believe guys, you, but, but there's guys. there's no evidence. Can I ask a question? Please. Yes. Maybe this was resolved and I don't remember it. How could Leo have those photos from the video footage, but no, there's no footage anywhere of what happened immediately before of him choking Will? Well, Ted took the photos... Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, so where's, there, the, there's like no where's the rest of the video? Yeah. Maybe and Was there that explained are, and I don't, I, don't, I don't remember? I don't think so. it was so. a while ago. Maybe Leo has it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there are photos of, because they just, of the they, accident. They just seem to be, That'll like, Will and Sonny just seem to be like, well, you know, yeah. whatever. We have no no s- course of action for this. But, but it's I think, like, well, th- isn't there more videos somewhere? Yeah. It happened right before. This is true. But, you know, it could be like that video of when Abigail killed uh, Tony. Oh, yeah, that got erased, right? Andre. 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 Killed yeah. Andre. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, that sounds wrong. Um, they're they're going to have to get out of it somehow, but yeah. it'll be they interesting will. to see how. Yeah. But the other kicker for me was when Marlena saw Sonny and Will walk in. <laughs> and she, so she did this. This is Sonny and Will, right? And she was like, <laughs> to Diana and Leo, I was like, now that is Dr. Marlena Evans. And you have crossed her, and good luck. That moment, and this was another, re- another, another, 
Another... wonder if she introduced herself to them. <laughs> Rewind that moment. That was an inside joke, sorry. Uh-huh. When uh, Diana goes, tries to go running after Leo, mm-hmm. and Marlena, Dr. Marlena Evans says, oh, no, you're not going oh, anywhere. She that took, moment She took a half step. She's like, oh, no, boo, <laughs> you're not going nowhere. You're not going anywhere. But I feel like this sets up this whole thing between Marlena and Diana. Yeah, now. beautifully. Because right now she thinks that Marlena knows that Leo is John's. Right. They never resolved their conversation. Yeah, who were all questioning. Diana, I don't think I don't Diana thinks that Marlena knows. Well. At all. I don't know. Because she's, because she's, because Marlena is like, I know everything. Yeah. Right. And I think Diana's like, girl, don't you know? I think yeah. you know everything. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think Diana knows. I don't, but, I don't think Diana thinks she, Marlena knows. And did you guys cover last and week? And she wanted to be the one to, t- to say it to her. Did you guys cover last week if you think that Diana's telling the truth about the paternity? We did, we and, and we think she's ju- lying. Yeah, I think she's lying, too. Yeah, because John don't need no more kids. No. The sperm that flies all over Salem. Well, you. the only person that does that is Stefano. Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> it would kind of be funny if John had yet another gay son, but I don't think it's true. I think Diana's lying. I think Girl. so, too. I think she's lying. Um... And so, yeah, Will and Sonny are kind of at this this impasse, and Leo seems yeah. to be holding all the cards. All the cards, once again, the but... Photos, but we'll see. I feel like something... There's something with this storyline that I feel like it's about to happen, like a shoe is about to drop. It mm-hmm. has to. Because there, there's little seeds that are now planted. Yeah. And, and I feel like something is about to go down. I mean, even when Leo came in with Eli and Lonnie, Sonny and Will had already decided, you know what, we're not going to play this game with you anymore, Leo. Yeah. yeah. We're just not going to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. something, no. they're all calling each other's give. bluffs, kind of. Yeah. You know? yeah. All right. Well, uh, before we move on to more happenings, uh, we have this little announcement from the kind folks here at Afterbus TV. Yes, sir. Uh, before we move on to our next topic, we just wanted to say thank you for making us the ESPN of TV talk. For us to continue to grow, we could use your help. If you're on YouTube right now, which most of you are, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you're on iTunes watching us, give us five stars and a positive comment. But no matter where you are, how you're watching us, please leave a comment so you can get involved with the conversation because that's the best part of it, getting to interact with all y'all. Being a part of AfterBuzz TV has meant so much to all of us, and we truly appreciate you supporting us in what we love to do. And don't forget to tell your friends and share and keep on enjoying our shows. Yay! Beautifully done, Michael Mattis. Thank you. That announcement brought to you I by the kind folks here at AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> All right, let's go into some tidbits, Little and we're going to zoom through these. Zoom, yeah. zoom, zoom. Um, 400, wow. JJ, okay. Haley, Eve, Jack, Melinda, I am oh. so nervous about this storyline because... Okay. <laughs> Eve has picked up on this whole immigration thing. Yeah. With Haley. Mm -hmm. Jack knows the tea about Haley Mm -hmm. because JJ told him. Mm -hmm. Now, JJ is kind of like, now, Dad, you can't say nothing. But Jack is kind of like, I got to (laughs) because I'm running for mayor. Mm -hmm. So I got to, you know, let, you know, let this be known. Then you got Eve who is instigating it because she done found out that Melinda is sisters with Haley as she was trotting through Horton Town Square. In that fabulous cape and dress. <laughs> the way she Lord, ran after Lord. them. I laughed out loud. Eve was, she was way like, oh. over there. <laughs> and it's almost like she was like, oh, tea? And she was just like, <laughs> let me go see. And it was like, it wasn't like this even like full on like thrust. It was like no. this like, side like, <laughs> like I'm coming, I'm coming for the tea. It was just a dance. Just wait. Yeah. Yes. And so I was like, oh my goodness. And I was like, that this like this election is about to and be. And you had said that from the beginning. Yeah. I think you and I were like, whatever about the election. I know, and you we were, were like, in... oh no, oh this no, is be good. this election is about to be a. Because <laughs> <laughs> some things are about to go down. Yeah, and when Haley got in JJ's face, like you did it, you did not tell him, you yeah. did not, and then JJ backpedaled. Yeah, like, no, I just you know said that we had kissed, and I don't know. And then when she walked in on on that, let me tell you, when you ever, whenever you walk into a room and people go, yeah, so but. You know they're talking about you. You know that they are talking about you because yeah. of the same. Because Jack and and JJ were all like, yeah. So uh, 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 Haley walked in. Hey. Silence. And she's like, what did I just walk in on? I will be like that too. I'd be like, you yeah. talking about me, ain't you? Oh. <laughs> no. I think he's projecting. Yeah. Like, I some do personal like, experiences there. There is. 
the way they're playing it is that there's this connection, even though Jack doesn't remember JJ being yeah, his son. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. I like that they have yeah. this like, and he's like, you can kind of see Jack struggle, mm-hmm. you know, a little bit. Yeah. But then Eve comes around and is just able to like convince him. You I know? know, so I'm worried he's about got, that. She's got too much influence on him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, all right, and then we have. What else is there to talk about with John, Diana, Leo? Basically, the only thing that we haven't talked about is the fact that Roman confided, or John confided in Roman. Oh, yeah. So Roman's kind of in the mix, but the the rest of it we already talked about. The rest of it happened at the police station between Marlena and um, Diana. Well, there we go. Uh, Mm -hmm. And then Sarah, Rex, and Eric. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're there. They're having dinner. Rex went to see his mom. I just like that Kate was like, Oh you're no! An idiot. <laughs> you're oh an my idiot. God! You're gonna my ha- son on, is an idiot. On Valentine's Day, you have a woman with another man eating. <laughs> now, why are we talking She's about? She's right. Yeah. Now, Sarah. <laughs> she was the Sarah, best part of it. You can no longer drink, ever, because. <laughs> The stories she makes up in her mind when she was like, "Oh, on Valentine's Ooh. Day, he took the girl from work home," I and then would have thought the same thing. But to be, but to be bold and be like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh, hey, Marcy girl, how are you? <laughs> yes, it's me, Sarah. So listen, last year on Valentine's Day, you slept with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you and your wife are celebrating Valentine's Day? <laughs> oh, well, happy Valentine's Day, zero. Click. And I was like, I was like, now that's bold to call her like a year later yeah. to, to accuse her of something and then be like, whoops, sorry. Yeah, it's the insecurity. She doesn't trust Rex, clearly. Clearly. Sarah. Clearly. Have a couple of glasses of champagne and she really doesn't trust Rex. Sarah, you got a little touch of crazy in oh, you. I and I love it. it. I love it. I love it. Lindsay is the best part of the storyline and her her craziness. Listen, drunk Sarah is a is Drunk hilarious. Sarah is the best Sarah. She is amazing. Oh, just like uh, Rashonda James said, a drunk Sarah is hilarious. <laughs> But she, like, oh, Gina Marie said, Sarah is so gangsta, and she is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. All right. Um, and we already touched on this, too. Hope, Hope and Ted, Ted and Ray. Yes. We touched on that already. So. Done. That's it. That's that. That was the week. There's your week of days. And now it's time for our favorite part of the show, which are our segments. And we're going to start with mine, which is Tony's official Three Snaps Award. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right. So in life, you always have to have that friend that's a ride or die. Whenever you need to have somebody back, yes, if you get in a fight, she already has a bat and Vaseline and sweatpants in the car for you. When Gabby Hernandez said, you know what? Will and Sonny, I got you. Y'all go to uh, Salem Inn and have your Valentine's Day. I'm going to take care of this here. <laughs> and as the scene opens, she is there just filing <laughs> thy oh, nails. Doing a little manicure work. And had Leo tied up and was just basically like, boo, no. You going <laughs> after Will and Sonny, and those are my hearts, and you completely tried my life. And I was like, now that's a friend <laughs> that you need in Salem. So for handling business in the Kiriakis Mansion by tying up Leo, Gabby Hernandez, Camila Banos, gets Tony's yes. official Three Snaps Award. Oh, snap! You go, friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now it's time for... You know, there were so many contenders this week. Mm-hmm. I almost gave it to Julie because she looked mm. fabulous in that turquoise coat. Um, obviously, Eve looked amazing. But you know what? Olivia Rose Keegan, Miss Claire in this denim jumpsuit by Alice and Olivia, ironically enough. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I love, I'm going to get this. This is on my to-do list. It's a flared denim jumpsuit with bohemian aesthetics, which is always very clear. She's got that boho chic thing going on. Um, short sleeves, zip front, waist belt loops, and a self-tie waist. Miss Olivia Rose Keegan, Claire, you have the <laughs> spotlight this week on... All right, and now it's time for Caption Day. All right, I too enjoyed the scene between uh, Leo and Camila. <laughs> Leo and Gabby. Gabby. Excuse me. 
All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, we see um, Leo in bed with his tie and tied up, and uh, Gabby sitting there. And this week's caption goes to Megan Bizarro, uh, Bizarro Megan on Instagram, with her caption: "Is that Xander's banana under your pillow?" Oh. oh. There, this, this week there were so many captions about the pillow yes. and how like there was one where it was like this pillow's giving me a rash like, <laughs> or like or I hope they're not reusing the pillow or, or something yeah, like that yeah. there were so many good ones this week it was hard to pick a good one but I I laughed out loud at this one so that's the one yeah. I picked and I so. almost gave Camilla the designer spotlight too for this jumpsuit yeah. it's oh, an actual jumpsuit good. I thought yeah. it was a two piece but yeah. it's a jumpsuit so listen I have to admit like I, there were times where I was trying to look under the pillow <laughs> to see like <laughs> what's under there. Yeah. I was like, what? One what is he move. wearing under One there? Like, move. you <laughs> know what? <laughs> was it like, was it a like moment? looking under like? <laughs> Like there was there was one point I was sitting on the couch and I was like and there was a shot and I was just kind of like is there <laughs> what it's like Xander behind the pole right. or the lamp the lamp pole right? oh like, yeah no it was it was um Kyle Lauder oh it was a Kyle that's right yeah, that's when, right yeah that's right. when he, he, like, he, yeah, when he came lamp. out in the underwear and he went behind the lamp and right. I was just kind of like <laughs> I was like what. What's going on on the down? Yes. What banana is happening? And I like there? how they came around with the the scissors again. That's the second time I that know, Leo's had I'm his. I'm telling you. Where did he get these threat. scissors from? Well, you know, know. They're, they're sewing scissors. I can never scissors. find scissors in my house. They're so sewing I, scissors. Those I, are like heavy I, duty sewing I, scissors. I, I can never find scissors in my house either. Well, uh, <laughs> Steve, are you back in the booth? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that has been. Oh. Caption that. There we go. go. All right. Well, uh, if you guys didn't notice, we were just kind of stalling because we had rambling on dish and dance. We had two people join us. Two people. Who's here? We now have who's here? The ever so popular Millie in the house. We have Billy Flynn and Marcy Miller here. Look at you guys. You guys look great. The dream team. Thank you. So you guys. You have, yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. There's you. your Britney moment. Uh, yeah. You guys yeah. look amazing. Oh, yeah, you look amazing. Yeah. No, you yeah. look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> it's amazing what like a little sleep and like time to exercise will do for a person. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Actually yeah. eating normal meals and <laughs> yeah. sleeping. Uh-huh. Exactly. All right, so we've, we've completely gone through mm-hmm. our recap and this uh-huh. week's episodes of, of Days. <laughs> Um, and so now we get to just like chit chat with y'all all. and Kiki and all that kind how of stuff. How was the uh, how was the recap? Was uh, what happened? What happened last week? Re- <laughs> well, well, this is what happened. What had happened was um, a very lovable couple made their exit from yes. Salem. Who? Um, the, uh, a little a little uh, super couple uh, that they call Chabby. Yes. Left. I don't know if you're familiar That's with them. Familiar. Who's that? They're Who's that? adorbs. They're um, they're they're Chad and Abigail. Who plays Chad? Uh, Casey Diedrich. Same no. as <laughs> 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 Oh, Casey. It was you, sir. It was you. That's it was right. you. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we we discussed, you know, everything that happened this week in the wedding and all that kind of stuff, and we thought it was a, a beautiful send-off. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it was nice, wasn't it? It, it was, was nice. really well done. Yeah. yeah. What did you think about it? Did you think that, that Chad got a a great send-off this week? I or did. We, I mean, it was it was... It was interesting. It was um, it, it was a lo- kind of a long time coming, and there was a lot that that led into it. I mean, as far as from her leaving, it was I don't know. There's a lot of feelings, yeah, in in it. Um, and the story was like I, you know, she we were. When was your contract up? I stopped shooting in May, and then pick, like was off campus May. in November. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was signed. I was I was going to stay until October. Mm-hmm. Um. And well, we, like our, we were gonna actually kind of leave around the same time, mm-hmm. and then um, I decided to stay a bit long. I was gonna stay till October because I'm shooting this film mm-hmm. um, in New York, but it actually got pushed for a bunch of different reasons till um, till the end of March now. But um, <coughs> so they brought in Kate to to bridge that gap, yeah. Yeah. and I was gonna be leaving, and so I didn't really know what their what their plans were, but yeah. The send off happened a little bit quicker because when Kate was only going to be able to come back for a couple months, right. uh-huh. um, they decided to just it, it worked out for me to push up my good, like my sense. So that so that all worked. So it's like yeah. I knew it was coming for for a while, but I think that like once it that last week that hit, like there was a lot of interesting kind of super present moments mm-hmm. that um, 
mean, four and a half years is a long time. Yeah. I, went through, I went through a lot of the show. Time, right? yeah. Last two years have been really tough for me, um, personally. And I think like I found, I found, started to find my way kind of back to, to myself sort of there at the last couple months, the yeah. last month or whatever. Yeah. Um, so like the, the goodbyes were real goodbyes. Yeah. And you know, we brought it's that up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, especially we were, with Lauren Coslow. Those yeah. moments with yeah. her yeah. were just beautiful. Yeah, those are those yeah. are real. The one the last my last scene was uh, <clears throat> that I shot was with uh, Sonny and Will. Yeah. And we, we were, were talking, talking about, about that, that too. too. How, I was curious how what your actual last scene was that, that versus one. what aired. Yeah, she was there. She was watching. Yep. Oh. Um, <laughs> that one was like that one was that was tough. Yeah. But yeah. it was, I thought that was really, be- it was kind of, it was almost the most present that I had been in a, like, um, cause it was just me. I was just saying it, a lot of those last scenes, like even the scene with Tyler Christopher, mm-hmm. yeah, that which, was which too. I saw, you know, a lot of people kind of didn't understand the reasoning for me, like the shaking of the hand. And like, yeah. it was the first time that I'd ever called him brother. Yeah. That, we, yeah that's what and, we pointed out too. And the reason <clears throat> why was because, um, my thought on the only way Chad and Abigail had a chance was to get rid of all of the resentments yeah. and mm-hmm. leave everything in Salem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like it was really cool for me leaving because I got to do the same. Yeah. So it was like Billy and Chad just really saying goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's that's what we we mentioned during the recap was that during those goodbyes they felt like not only goodbyes from the character but mm-hmm. like your goodbye between. Mm-hmm your fellow actors yeah and they and that they all felt very real and just kind of like this moment of this is our last moments together in mm-hmm. this like scenario yeah. you know the sunny and will one was the most important we've talked about this so many times like mm-hmm. um i had mentioned like I, I i always mentioned that i had the one objective of abigail being the love of chad's life he had one objective uh-huh. just be with her mm-hmm. but the other one that i had had in this one and now that i'm like off the show it's it, it's kind of you, you know nice to talk about is um i i always had the idea that it, it stems back from my, when i was back i was back home in minnesota and there was um my my parents hi mom <laughs> hi steve my stepdad watched too um, but there was there was this woman who had said something that um was homophobic about the the having the writer stop writing that storyline so mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and this was before i started mm-hmm. um and it was in that moment that i was like okay this is something that i can i can try to change like mm-hmm. i can be i can show you that you can be a straight male and have this love for for, An for this gay couple love. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. um that was my second big objective so like that was and you could tell from the very first scene so like yeah. at the end that last moment um where was, you pulled his head and like kissed mm-hmm. his forehead yeah and it was like it's super and I actually read something that um, somebody um, his name's Luke something he um, he knows who I'm talking about he always does paintings of us oh I know mm-hmm. but he had said something about um, you know uh, thanking me for for um, the humanity kind of to show that um, that I had changed some hetero people that he knew mm-hmm. on how they could love that's so yeah. beautiful yeah. Yeah. and I was like that was yeah. like really cool that, yeah. Yeah. I've always really been appreciative <laughs> of your your somewhat outspokenness on Twitter Mm -hmm. regarding that issue and some other issues and I tweeted you once I was like thank you for using your voice for that reason Mm -hmm. and I'll thank you again (laughs) well you don't have to thank me I mean it's it's kind of it's how I feel but it was it was really nice to show because I felt like that that couple I mean it started at by the end of it people were rooting for like Chad like Ch- could Chad be with one of them? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. So he, interesting triangle. He could be. I mean, Chad, it's just, it's, it's just the love of, you know, the humanity. I think, and, and that yeah. last scene yeah. was that. That mm-hmm. last scene was, was that for me. Was, mm-hmm. was going like, I still like, I actually kind of almost teared up myself watching that moment because oh, yeah. it was, it was four and a half years of like showing that you could have this kind of love, and mm-hmm. I'd never seen that before. Yeah. yeah. Um. Marcy, you were there for Billy's last scene. We saw the the post that you posted yeah. on on Instagram. How was it for you just being in in that moment with him and and watching all of this go down? Yeah, you know, it's a complex moment because you know I had to say goodbye to something that I cared so much about and watch somebody that I cared so much about um, continue with it. Mm-hmm. And um, I knew that I wanted to be there. For, I, I, I'm getting teary <laughs> looking at him. <laughs> uh, um, 
so it was really special for me to be able to go and just like be able, even though I wasn't literally able to be there for every step of the way, mm -hmm. um, I watched him and rooted for him and wanted him to know that I was supportive of, of everything that he's ever done. I've always been really moved by the way that Billy has chosen to um, use the story for things that serve a purpose and I know that it's inspired me to start thinking about it differently because it's easy to be bogged down with the fact that it's a lot of work for me it's a lot of stuff but for me blah 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 that it, it can be easy to forget sometimes that it's supposed to serve a greater purpose and yeah. it can um, serve a greater purpose yeah. yes yeah. and that's the intention and the intention that we hope that it lives up to so being there and getting to watch him just like do his thing is is so was very special for me in a lot of ways yeah Thank you. We Aww. had some cool moments. There was a lot of scenes that we had to fight pretty hard for, and I'm glad. There was um, one of them was on Miami Row this year. Mm -hmm. Was the scene when um, uh, she tells Chad that the ch uh, baby was not his, mm. right? That yeah, that Charlotte's not his. Yeah. That it's Stefan's. And I remember like there's always this one version that you kind of get, which is, you know, um, I don't know how to say it. You know, it's. Um, like what's on it's the kind page. of surface. It's kind of what's it's on the page. It's just what's literally it's on the page. On. And I was like, okay, well, if this is what we're doing, because I think at that point, like, there's a sense of we're transitioning out. Chad and Abigail are transitioning out, and um, you know, with that, you need to kind of break down some characters and build some other characters up. I mean, you can't if you if you leave as like the highlight, like the highlight of the show, then like where does that leave the show? So I like yeah. I understand that, but like I was like so. If we're gonna do this and like, with that scene specifically, I was like, we have to show like, relationships are ugly, and it's not always like you, you know like, I don't remember really remember the specifics of, but I was like, if we're gonna do this, like let's let's be really be honest yeah. with how ugly this type show of scenario would be. And I remember yeah. at one point, I had turned around. It wasn't in that scene specifically. I came back and there was a moment where they're like, we need to do that. It looks like you were about to like go after her, like hit her, and I was like. And it was like, that's the kind of, I was like, well, not that I was going to do that, but like those super dark, like I want to show a real fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like how often do you see an ugly fight on days? Like everybody's yeah. always so pretty and mm -hmm. <laughs> I always, I always kind of wrapped in a bow and I was like, I don't yeah. want to, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to be like, and if I'm really, the ugly yeah. one, I want to go back and go like, oh my God, look how controlling he was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and obsessive or mm -hmm. mean. And um, so like, even if it didn't always kind of like benefit you know, you get a lot of Twitter hate for it or whatever right. it is, but mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, you're telling a story about what's... Mm -hmm. Right. You treat you the know. people you love the it's, most the worst. Yeah. yeah. In a weird yeah. way. When you're yeah. hit like that. Yeah. 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 Um, you, you, you guys were just... The, the characters of Chad and, and Abigail, the one thing that I always liked about this couple is that no matter what they went through, the basis was just, like, the love that they had for, for each other. And even through the whole storyline of the DID, which, you know, we rant and raved about, you know... A ton with, with you, you can Marshall. we talk about how amazing she was? It was, oh, it, it was <laughs> never get tired of no. it. It's insane. I don't know who could do. You're I mean, such it's a goof. No. <laughs> but no. But to put this into 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 perspective, like you're what three or four different characters. <laughs> yeah. And you're shooting. And could have done like ten no. more. And you're shooting, oh, no. but you're shooting oh, them different. Like you're one character in one scene where you're happy, and and then like literally five minutes later, you need to be on the floor bawling your eyes out, and then you're up. It like five minutes later, doing another character where you're supposed to be like this, you know, a badass Gabby. Mm -hmm. I would just, I was, I would watch and just awe. Oh, it was so, so amazing. Yeah. What, what, what was it like for you, Billy, going through that whole storyline and and the whole the different characters and the different scenarios and all that kind of stuff? Like, how was that experience for you? Um. <laughs> <laughs> that was during the. It was. I mean, if I'm if I'm honest, mm -hmm. I had lost my great grandmother about two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. When that happened, it set me on a bit of a spiral. Mm -hmm. I I was I was hurting yeah. um, personally, and that started to really kind of blend into my work. And then like so like the look in hindsight, when I look at Chad's arc, I mean, I couldn't have planned it better myself. Mm -hmm. But I. <clears throat> Um, I was depressed. I was using substances in a way that I hadn't, bef you know, before, and mm -hmm. um, I wasn't. I wasn't in a in a very good place. And I luckily I can say now, being on the other side of that, um, 
you know, it's it um it was such an amazing learning lesson and having her to like kind of guide kind of you know mm. kind of guide me through that too but like mm. to to your to your question i was going through so much personally at the time i was just trying to keep up yeah um which like i said looking back works because you're looking at a character that was completely lost yeah and i was um so it worked but you know it's it's tough to be honest with you i don't know I, um it, it's it's hard to look back because i it's such a connection but like you know it, it one thing blended into my real life and then that but i mean you don't understand like how much we work mm-hmm. like i was shooting nine episodes a week i was yeah. in pretty much every different every storyline yeah. um i wasn't sleeping i wasn't eating. i mean i was i was in a bad place and i'd go to to do these scenes with this guy who was like lost and his wife was broken and and then i'd go home and i was broken so like to your answer i don't know yeah. i just i was just trying to keep up and that's wow. the most honest answer i can give you yeah um and but like it's we found some really cool moments in in between that and like i think had it not been all of that i don't know if i'd be on the other side Mm. so so happy and and content and like everything is so good now um but it was cool i mean it was like it was it was i think it, it was honestly it was the only thing that saved me was the fact that she was you know she her storyline was kind of so much of this thing that it like distracted from what i was doing right? <laughs> yeah. like you know i just i mean it, it really was like i could show up and i could just kind of you know and, I, and it's embarrassing to say but I, like i think if i have to be authentic and honest and expect that from other people that you know I, I need to do it myself and uh you know it was it was that like i was i was just kind of lost and so was chad and it and in the end it all worked out but um i think at the time i just kind of tried to skate under the radar but you know i will say it's interesting the perspective you have of yourself and your your own work always or whatever but i can look back at very specific moments in ways that you showed up for me that you probably don't even realize Mm -hmm. you did i can tell you like the opening scene of Miami Reel was a day when I was so depleted, like so depleted. I had nothing. I, I went, and it's so frustrating when you you show up knowing that there's a lot that needs to be here and you don't feel like you have it. And I was just so frustrated with the situation. And you kind of literally were, I like got the rest of the room to be quiet and just said like all the frustration you're feeling right now just like make it this like Mm. make it about this make it about this and it just opened up this whole other channel for me and ended up being like one of my favorite one of my favorite things that we've ever gotten to do in a way and it was just like so anyway you were more whether you feel like you were present you were more present than you probably realize just by being there thank you this is such a dynamic team like just like i mean your work obviously reflects like what I'm seeing right now. Mm-hmm. Like Chad and Abigail had each other's backs. Yeah. And you two clearly have each other's backs. Yeah. And I will say this until I no longer have breath within me that <laughs> the daytime actors are some of the hardest, most Absolutely. profoundly talented group of people mm-hmm. on the face of the planet mm. because the kind of work that you do, no one else does on television yeah. or film. Yeah. yeah. You know, what's demanded of you. Um, the expectations mm-hmm. on you and of you mm-hmm. um, and you have to bring it every single day whether you feel depleted mm-hmm. or not whether you're going through a crisis or not mm-hmm. you're expected to bring the goods mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and if you don't feel like you can again the daytime family is unlike any other family because you've you've got that support system mm-hmm. yeah you know generations of a support system yeah mm-hmm. yeah um, you have to show up one way or another yeah. which is like yeah. by the scene the culmination of our like was was in the cabin scene when you, she gave a baby like <laughs> what she did with baby. there's that one moment I'm talking and she just goes Shh. Yes, yes. I was like yes. that was I it I fall out of my chair literally yeah. stop talking I have to talk talk stop yeah. talking that's actually I had that moment where I thought these two need to be in a comedy together yeah because I had never well, seen really that element it was oh, such but. a combination of like you know you're having the baby and like trying to find like cell service and all, it, and it was just, it was so Hot much mess. that was happening uh-huh. and it was just kind of like wow okay they're yeah, really good like y'all are working yeah, yeah. Well, but it was good though it's another moment which I think we found in, in like and Kate's not here today uh, I by the yes. way I wish she was and um, yeah. how amazing she was in wrapping up the story too it was so nice that she came back mm-hmm. um, but to that it was like you know as we, we'd find moments like that 
like, what are we going to do here? Okay, let's just speak to the Galen and I used to talk about all the time like there'd be weird you get weird scenes yeah. and sometimes you just gotta lean into it <laughs> you know so like but to that like we got to find moments and that was kind of when I started actually you can see on camera which looking back now is like kind of hard for me it's humbling but um, you can see where I started to kind of find myself again mm -hmm. um, um, like from one episode literally to another mm -hmm. it was like overnight you know so mm -hmm. uh, but um that was that was at the beginning of it so it's like it was almost that was almost like i felt for me like okay i'm kind of feel like myself again yeah and, and the scene was kind of that so it was just two people like after everything and, and it and worked out that way that we had not banged together in a long time yeah, so it was like i literally oh my gosh i have where have you been so maybe you're been. the reason <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. 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 What um because I, I know we're we're having a very honest like moment. Um it's turning into like uh Barbara Walters. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know. I'm gonna start crying. I'm Someone's never, gonna start crying. I'm never I'm the, like start crying. I'm it's never good. the Barbara Walters or, or Oprah type. I don't wanna be that. Well look, I've been be in here how many times now and it's uh, it's always a blast. I always have yeah. fun. But mm -hmm. I think with where I'm at in my life now, it's just it's 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 fun to come in and be honest after four and a half yeah. years yeah. of like mm -hmm. story and now I can just kind of, you know Yeah. I don't know, Do be that. myself. How did uh, you you mentioned like that's when the start of like just coming out of everything that you had been going through like what helped you pull out of that rut that that you were in my wife mm -hmm. really um, shout out to Gina shout out Gina. to Gina, um, Gina. and you know I I mean uh, to be honest with you I don't know it, it, it her a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and without her, I, I wouldn't have. I mean, like I said, I was in a really dark place. But it, it was, um, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, it, it's she, um, she helped me kind of find myself again and realize that like I was wasting so much of what mm -hmm. I what I had. And yeah. um, you know, it's odd when you lose somebody. You think that like you have to punish yourself, um, and she just kind of helped me help me realize what's important again yeah uh and when i got sober it, it that was that that helped a lot i mean and, and she was able to let me see like kind of it's just how i um how uh how i could be my best self not just like the best actor and like it's when you go when you go from nothing i'm out i went from living on a sailboat to having this amazing job and uh you kind of realize and then you you so it was a, so much so fast that i think um and and when i had lost my great grandmother a lot of things just fell apart mm -hmm. and not that they were ever really right before that like but um once they started to fall apart i couldn't find my footing because mm -hmm. i was so immersed in like chad and like you know a, like the Twitter, like kind of the, the reassurance from everything else except for myself and what was in my life. Yeah. Um, when I started to kind of awaken to the fact that like, oh, like why, why do we beat ourselves up when we're grieving so much? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, instead of like truly kind of living for the other person, I was like, oh, this is it. And then I think when, you know, I was writing this film with my, with this, with my writing partner is, um, and he, you know, like we were doing that and the show was kind of wrapping up and, and, I was like, it was just kind of a lot of different things coming to a head. So when I think yeah. I found a sense of freedom in the idea that like, okay, this is coming to an end. Um, and it was like, what kind of, I don't know, who am I gonna be, what am I gonna be? And Gina kind of, you know, slapped the stupid out of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but she was just there for me and I was like, oh, okay. And my family, Yeah. Um, and, you know, my mother and everybody else, but it was, you know, a lot of her just, just being like, you have so much to, to live, you know, to, to, um, you just have so much like yeah. and and then like which made it all so much more surreal looking back um i think when i left at just the outpouring of like the stuff on twitter uh from people it's like oh man four and a half years of like you kind of work so hard to move other people and and like that's what we i mean her and i know better than anybody like i think with the way that we work specifically like i i was working in a way that was like f from a real place like cutting myself like these each time like with real things and I think after four years of that it just became too much mm -hmm. um, but so like now it's like I'm, I, I get to kind of reinvent that and figure out how to work differently and mm -hmm. um, but we you know that's that's kind of the way it was and it, and it does it takes its toll on you fast it does yeah. and you don't even realize it's happening yeah. Yeah. And, and then 
you're in a, a yeah. bind. Yeah, and some people are cut out for it. I mean, they really are. Some like, I, are. some people, yeah. like, I don't think... I think it was just so much so fast. There was a, there's like that quote that's like you, everything you ever dreamed of and then you get it and you realize it's yeah. not what you thought it was. Yeah, be careful what you ask yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it was. It was amazing. But there were just some things that I hadn't quite figured out yet. Yeah. And and, and now that I have, I'd be interested to see. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next opportunity I have. Thanks. Um, well, we're taking your questions live. Um, <laughs> give us a call. Or are we on yeah. TV? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, give us a call, 424-354-8302. <laughs> that, by the way, we poured you guys rosé, so if you think that's water. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Oh, like, that's good, thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, I appreciate you letting me out. The whole time he's like, oh, shh. <laughs> I'm like, Get the alcohol away from him. I appreciate you letting me know because I'll drink it. Okay. So there was uh, so much, like, love, as you said, that, that people poured out when, the, when Chabby was exiting the the show and also just a a reminder to like your work for the past four and a half years um i know that i don't say it enough and i know i give you a lot of crap but (laughs) i truly appreciate what you brought to the character Mm -hmm. of chad i remember when you first came on i was like you brought uh this like Mm grown-up version of chad whereas before we just saw the character as like a teeny bopper Mm -hmm. and you brought this like sophistication to the character. Thank you. More well rounded. Yeah. I appreciate you too. Yeah. I appreciate you <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Aww. For podcast a, listeners, they're they're where's the, they're bonding. Aww. They're touching there's hands. A, there's a that, that's a moment. That's a moment. That's a moment. <laughs> um, we have a caller on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome to Afterbus TV Zition Days. You're on live. Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Susie Morales Midley. Oh, hey, Susie. Georgia. How you doing? Hi, How Susie. Are you? Hey, hey. I'm doing great. Great. Thank you, you for um, for bringing them on. I'm so happy that they we get to say hello to them. Yes. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Billy and Marcy in Atlanta last year, mm-hmm. and I have to say that I can't thank you guys enough. I've been watching the show for since '76, 1976, oh my gosh. Wow. and wow. I have seen a lot of couples, super couples that I've enjoyed, but I have not enjoyed any super couple like I've enjoyed you two. Oh, mm-hmm. oh thank you, Susie. <laughs> You're very welcome. I, I did have a question, and, okay. and I hope that you guys know that the chat roll is going crazy, just <laughs> oh, yeah. praising you guys. Absolutely. And thank you, Billy, for sharing your story with us. Um, it, it kind of is really important for people that go on these Twitters and stuff like that, that they realize that you guys are real people. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, they should kind of remember that when they mm-hmm. post negative stuff. Yes. Um, Agreed. I'm glad that you guys overlook those things and don't punish every viewer and every fan. Um, because we do appreciate what you do and what you bring on screen for us. Um, but I did want to ask a question. Uh, you guys have an amazing on-screen chemistry. And having met you guys in person, I can see that there's an off-screen chemistry that is just so palpable. So my question to you is, um, would you guys see each other working in the future together in another project? Mm. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Good question. So. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I would love that. Well, I can't. I can't say awesome. there's nothing planned yet. I wish. I wish we could drop. I wish yeah. right there we could be like, well. I literally. I know. In my head, I was like wanting to make a joke. Like, should we tell him? Uh, <laughs> I was like, that's just too bad. That's mean. No, nothing planned. But yes, I think it's definitely yeah. on both of our. That'd be, that'd be fun. I think we've always talked about it. it'd be interesting to do something like a uh, an indie that's something a little bit more uh, more raw, and mm-hmm. kind of uh, well honest, but. I want you guys to know that, you know, I will be a Chabby fan for the rest of my life. Aww. But not only am I a Chabby fan, I am also a Billy and Marcy fan. And I also enjoy Kate Mansey very much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Um, She's amazing. You guys Absolutely. are phenomenal. Thank yeah. you. And so thank you so much for what you gave to us during the years that you you played the roles that you played. You guys really had us, uh, or at least had me from the, from the Jump Street. <laughs> thank you so Thanks, very, Susie. very much from yeah. the fans I can't call in. But I'll get also other people to try calling oh. and, and tell you guys how awesome you are. I appreciate oh, that, Susie. Thank Thanks you. for calling. Thanks, in. Susie, Thanks, for calling. Susie. Um, that was one of the questions I had. With, you know, with with you playing uh, opposite Kate and and Marcy, was there ever any like adjustments that you had to do to the character of Chad? When Kate came on versus when? Oh, good question. Yeah, Marcy. definitely. Good I mean, question. I think I think you could see you could see it. It's. Um, 
like the first kind of couple of weeks with Kate back, it, 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 it you're finding our place again together, mm-hmm. and now mm-hmm. kind of towards the, the end, the chemistry kind of starts to come back. Yeah, you kind of because you, you get thrown in, and all of a sudden you're shooting seven episodes of somebody again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there was that process. So it's kind of like just when we started to find the footing, it was kind of ending, yeah. wrapping up. But yeah. um, because we had worked together before, it was just a matter of it, it came quicker yeah. than it would. I mean, the first time around, it took like six months mm-hmm. for us to find that moment. And I think Kate and I both had known kind of what moment that was or what scene it was during which we kind of snapped in to go, oh, okay, that's, we found that. What scene was it? Uh, the scene in Will's apartment where I finally conf- where I finally told her I loved her and kind of mm. broke down. There was, um, I think that was the scene for both of us. We were like, okay, mm. I think we snapped into yeah. kind of what we need to here. And there was, uh, I mean, there was so much debate um, when we announced that you guys were coming in about uh, Kate versus Marcy. And we said before you guys uh, came in that um, we love you both equally in the in the role, and that we both had the same. We all had the same feelings when uh, when Kate left and you came. We were like, "Oh, girl, like good luck." <laughs> um, and then when when you left and Kate came back in, we were like, "Oh, girl, girl good, good luck." luck. You know? yeah. <laughs> but 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 at the end, we we both we loved both of you, you know, yeah. equally, and and we were glad that you know that there was a beautiful send off, you know, and that Kate was able to kind of wrap up this character and she did an amazing job. And especially after the heels of of what you brought, like, you know, that I think for any actor or actress that has to be tough, like coming back into a role that someone has done and then like finding that footing again. So I mean, they they like upped one another each time. I was like, when you (laughs) came in, it was she, she, when Kate left you, like left in a hospital bed and a mask on, Full, full, you know. She jumped out that window and was like, "Bye, y'all." Yeah, and then, and then she left. She left, and then she left in the same realm. Except now she's added five different personalities. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then oh, so she left fighting. Yeah, no, yeah. Come but, get, come out of me. but to that, you know, like in hindsight, it means so much more to me, and I think that's part of the. Just real quick to touch on it, like why I think I'm, I want to be kind of so honest with where I'm at because we have this such an idea of of you know the mental illness and which we showed on the show and we talked about it i don't think it's necessarily always handled properly on the show but i think the mm-hmm. fact that it's touched on is important it's that mm-hmm. up to the actor's portrayal of it to to show kind of some importance but like you know to bring up christoph real quick you know who was a friend of ours and um who you know who i got to know through the emmy season stuff and and you know like it's it's important to talk about. Like, it's it's embarrassing. I'm nervous to even bring up my issues with it. But, mm-hmm. like, if you don't, like, that's... Yeah, the it's, suffering and silence. And, and to that, like, I mean, I hope, he, you know, I hope, he, I, I hope we believe, you know, I believe that he's found peace. And, and to that, and my heart goes out to his family. Um, mm-hmm. And this is like, just a, some real, real talk real quick. Um, mm-hmm. And I know, I know what he, you know, I know what he, I don't know specifically his story, but I can relate to probably a lot of stuff that he went through. Mm-hmm. And I felt the same. And, um, you know, to anybody who does listen or does watch, it does get better. And you can find out how. Reach out to me if you need to. I'm always I'm always here to talk. Uh, we've had a caller on. <laughs> uh, yep. Hey, caller. Welcome to After Buzz TV's Edition Days. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Lorraine from Ohio. Oh, oh Lorraine. God. Oh, hey, God, Lorraine. she got through. She got it. She, how did you, who did you pay off? She paid herself to get through. Money. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> well, for, for those of you who are not familiar with our show, uh, this is our other wonderful co-host, uh, Mark J. Freeman, who has loved Billy Flynn since he, before he stepped foot. Well, while he stepped foot in Salem. <laughs> while. <laughs> the uh, first step. I, um, I have my doubts. Um, <laughs> but, you know, this lady on the phone has, like, wholeheartedly loved him. So I'm glad you were mm-hmm. able to get through yeah. to talk to him. Not that you haven't talked to yeah. him or seen him before. <laughs> Very true. Uh, What's up, no, batch? I kept hitting redial. Batch. Batch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was, it was funny because I was thinking about you know, the journey, as I'll call it. I'll reference my experience with Mr. Flynn there. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking when I look back at my audition video that I did for After Buzz, uh, in that video, I was also talking about Billy. <laughs> this is absolutely true. I think, didn't, didn't I wasn't we, even, we played I that video. I wasn't even on yet, and I, it was starting. Yeah. <laughs> beginning yeah. stages of it. And I was like, who? Uh, <laughs> And now we're great. And now we're great friends. How how far we've come. <laughs> it has exactly. it, it has been a journey. And Mark and Mark was there. You know, so I, a lot of people listening. I mean, Mark was there 
for me too during a lot of the stuff that I was going through um, yeah. and was aware of it. So um, much love to him. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to be there for you. Glad I said I. It's the the journey has been amazing. You know, to go from you know just a fan of you and the show, and then now you know having dinner with you and Gina and spending time with you guys been awesome for me and hanging um, out at I the Soho house supposed- without me <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right hey you're invited anytime well, you want you got my number girl that's why we do it Tony that's why we do it <laughs> um, um, and, and, and I know I'm not supposed to take sides but I am 100% team Marcy so oh you're starting oh. shit <laughs> I, 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 I've always been the one to ruffle feathers, and I will continue to do that because I will never deny my love. Of my Did you hold on? Can we get yeah. a pic? Can we? Is this picture up? Can we yeah. see this picture? So, so, oh, wait. Mark, while we while we have you on the phone, uh, let's uh-huh. play uh, the video yeah. that you sent in for Billy. Oh, uh, gonna make okay, me cool. cry. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Well, because I feel like there's only one person on this show who could properly, like, give you the props that you deserve. Like, mine was, it was <laughs> Yours minimal. was beautiful. Don't undersell yours. It, <laughs> meant, it meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, it, and uh, it was very truthful. It was, a, you know. It was a, I know. It was you don't got to make a joke about it. I felt it. But his is probably way better. And by the way, I love you too as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love yeah. you too. Back at you. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, play the, the video for us. Hello, sorry I couldn't be there, you guys. I am in Ohio visiting some friends, so I just wanted to say, Billy and Marcy, it has been such a pleasure to get to watch your talents on Days of Our Lives. Mm -hmm. I love everything you've done. You guys know that I'm a huge Billy Flynn fan. (laughs) Um, But thank you guys so much for everything you've done. Thank you for coming and being part of our show. Um, We've had such a great time getting to know you, um, not just as actors, but as human beings. Uh, Wish you all the best in the whole wide world. Um, I will be at renting every movie you do and watching them over and over. So uh, just know that you have at least one true fan forever. I got one. Thank you guys. Love you. And I will see all of you very, very soon. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, Mark J. Friesman. That's so sweet. I thought a proposal was going to be in there somewhere. (laughs) Me too. Yeah, that was very sweet. I mean, we've always called him Mark J. Freeman Flynn. That's true. Yeah, this is very true. That's right. I'm hyphenating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I Uh, love that. Thank you. Well, Mark. uh, I will let other. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying, I will let, I'll, I'll let other people call in. I don't want to monopolize. I can. Billy, we'll do lunch next week. Marcy, I'll see you. We'll do some vegan dining together. Uh, and I'll let you guys finish the show. I'll keep watching, though. I'll, thanks, I'll Mark. be in the chat room and I'll be watching. Uh, Love thanks, you guys. Mark. Bye, Mark. Bye. 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 Uh, in our chat room, uh, Lucky Jason fan wanted to know what were the last scenes that you two filmed together? Oh, it was when I. Um was in the hospital just at the tail. Um, oh yeah, this thing. Um, <laughs> help me out. Um, it was when I was in the hospital after Abby like does the thing where she goes at, at Camila's. Yeah. She's at Camila's. Th- Camila's throat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that was, was it. That was and they were kicking. I'm like kicking and screaming and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a funny feeling to not feel. I'm so glad that you got to have like a formal goodbye. It was like kind of an, an incomplete feeling yeah, to not just, have. Yeah. I had no no goodbyes, which I think happens often, especially if there's other people that are going to pick up and take over. Yeah. But, but um yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it. oh <laughs> I think we have another caller hey caller welcome uh, to Afterbus TV's Dish and Days you're on live what's your name and where are you calling from hey this is Christian from Michigan how are hey. you guys hey, hey Christian, Christian from Michigan how Hi, are you good hey Billy hey Marcy hi how are you guys I'm doing awesome good how's it going good um, well I just wanted to call and um, thank you both so much for all the time uh, and dedication that you put into making Chad and Abby one of the best couples I've ever watched on on daytime. And um, you guys know, you guys both know how much love I have for you. Um, oh, thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> um, and I really, <laughs> um, I really just wanted to uh, to let you guys know why I think personally 
why you guys resonated so much with uh, with the fans in terms of your guys' story. Um, and I won't, I, I was trying to think of like how quickly to do this and not go into a huge tangent. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but I think uh, you guys brought a humanity and a real life uh, quality to Chad and Abby that we hadn't ever necessarily seen before. Um, I know that a lot of people are very polarized and whether or not they like um, uh, Kate's version or Marcy's version. Um, but I feel like you guys were able to bring a certain um, realistic quality to to their relationship. We hadn't ever seen them be playful before and really be in love and not have uh, and not have an obstacle thrown their way. Mm -hmm. So I really think that's, and that's a testament to you guys and how well you work off each other. And I think that um, that's why you guys really worked and why you stuck with us as, uh, with, with the fans as well as you did. So. No, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's awesome. You're welcome. And that's kind of what we wanted to do. And, yeah. We talked about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, that, that was all. Um, thank you guys so much for, for coming, and we can watch you. I know we, we miss seeing you guys everywhere. Um, so uh, <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Well, we really thank appreciate you, you calling in. It really. means the world. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much for thanks, calling Christian. in. We appreciate it. Yep, thanks. Have a great night. Bye. You too. Bye. 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 Uh, Billy, uh, Willa Sargent wanted us to let you know that she loves you just as much as Mark does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Willa. Um, she's, she, Willa's one of our longtime fans on on Dish and Day. She's been watching since the beginning, and she's also been watching days since, like, day one. Wow. Yeah, yeah I, so. I know. I've, 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 I believe I've chatted with Willa. Yeah. Um, Thanks, Willa. Veronica. Oh, we have another caller? I'll take that one. Hey, caller. Welcome to After Buzz yes. Dish and Days. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name's Chrissy, and I'm from Newark, Delaware. Hi, Hi how are Hi, you? Chrissy. Do you have a question or comment Hi, for Billy Marcy? Marcy probably remembers me because I, I called her back you. in December. I do. <laughs> yeah, I do remember you. It's nice to hear from you again. Yeah, and it's nice that you guys are here doing this for us, you know, because, I mean, it was a big deal wrapping up Chad and Abby this week, and, um, I hope we get a chance to see you guys again soon on Days of Our Lives, but I just wanted to say, both of you absolutely phenomenal <laughs> and also i will also mention kate and nancy as well yeah. they did an absolutely amazing job and i want to just thank you guys for everything and i have a question for billy this time okay <laughs> i'm ready okay <laughs> um so obviously you yeah. know days of our lives has passed for now uh, what are you looking for in terms of like your new projects coming up? Like, what genre are you looking to get in, mm. and like, what are you looking for? Um, well, uh, I, like I said, I'm shooting a film that I that we wrote with uh, with some really amazing people um, in March in New York. It's called Willowbrook. Um, my writing partner Tyson Sullivan and I wrote it, and there's going to be it's it's got a really great cast so far. I think they'll be announcing who pretty soon. Um, but I mean, I, you know, honestly, I don't know. Um, I think whatever the universe has in store for me will will um, will pop up, and if uh, um, you know, I'll be ready when it does. <laughs> I vote for a romantic well, comedy I... with you and yes. uh, Mark J. Freeman. Someone, in, <laughs> someone in the chat room said a Hallmark movie. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, Hallmark. <laughs> Actually, we would love that. We would love that. We would love to see a movie <laughs> with you both together. I mean, you guys have incredible chemistry. Mm. It is insane what I see. Oh, and you. by the way, my, my hashtag, or actually I should say my <laughs> my handle on Twitter is Perry Judo Forever. And yes, I've been one bidding you guys all this time. Oh, <laughs> oh. we know exactly yeah. who you are. Yeah, well, thank you so much. <laughs> we love it. I appreciate uh, all the support. It's yeah. a lot. Oh, really? thank you for calling in, and thank you for all your support. Thank you so much. Yeah, have really a nice night. It. Thank you. Bye. Bye, all right, bye, -bye. Um, Billy, uh, Christine Reardon in the chat wants to know, how was the film, how was filming the fight scene with Robert Scott Wilson? Um, exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> and sweaty. <laughs> um, that was a lot. That, that was, uh, 
it was fun. I mean, you get to be, you get to, you know, be little boys and and play fight. <laughs> it, was, it was a good time. I love Rob. Um, he's one of my one of my really good friends. Uh, so we we had a blast. It's just like it's a couple little uh, like little boys just playing <laughs> playing pretend <laughs> fight. Like it would have been awesome. Like, if, like next time, hopefully, maybe we can have some swords and. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones, and uh, mm. I could really, I'd really love a long sword. <laughs> I, 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 I would not have a camel in that fight. I, yeah, yeah it, it actually did. There's very few times where I'm speechless, but I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> we have a caller on the line. Hello, caller. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Dishing Days. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. Am I on? Yep, yes, you're you on. Are. Damn right, you are. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, my well, what's your name? Oh, what's, your, what's your What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh. Well, we'll take a second. What's your name, love? <laughs> it's okay. Take okay. it. Take a minute. You got I'm all Michelle. the time in the world, sweetie. Hi, Michelle. Michelle. I go by Shelby on 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 Twitter. On Twitter. You probably seen my very thirsty tweets, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm thirsty. I love you so much. Oh. Um, do oh you, my God! You have a I question or comment this. for them? I just want to say that I am so nervous. So I'm just gonna say no. I love you guys so much, love you and too. I'm really touched by what you guys performed on those two years because mm. I was going through a really dark phase in my life, um, and you guys really distracted me and helped me get over it. Um, I still have a long way to go, but we just know that love. the two mm-hmm. years you guys were on screen just really kept a smile on my face at least for an hour or so you said it's shelby and i'm so yeah and i just i was gonna cry because you guys just helped me so much through through my eating disorder and everything and i just it just you guys gave me something else to focus on and i'm just so grateful for the time you had on the show and i hope you guys know that we will follow you anywhere and everywhere Thank we will you, watch Shelby. every movie. We will support every project. Yes. And you just know that you have a home at Days and with the Chavy family. Thank oh. you so much. And for what it's for what it's worth, you and, and the rest of you know the people that that reach out help me through a lot of my hard times too. So, um, as I was going through what I was going through, it was, it was nice that we could lean on one another. And not even know it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh. And th- yeah, thank was... you, thank you for sharing and being so vulnerable with thank us. Thank you yeah. so much. Hi, hi, Kristen. Hi, Jalissa. <laughs> 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 Bye. Bye. Right. Thank you, Shelby. Bye, Shelby. Oh, so fabulous. Oh my God, the end of that was my favorite moment because that's that that's that moment where you're like, oh, hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, it's it's okay. She's like, all right, that's enough. (laughs) What's up, girls? (laughs) 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 That that probably has to go down as one of the best phone calls I've had on on Disney days. That was that was a good moment. Um, There's another call. We'll take it. Keep them coming. Hey, I got nothing to do. (laughs) (laughs) I'm unemployed. (laughs) (laughs) We got nowhere to be tomorrow morning. (laughs) Welcome to Afterbus TV's Edition Days. You're on live. What's your name and where you calling from? Well, Steve can shut the no. phone lines down now because the party's about to start. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, okay, now you thought you thought Mark J. Freeman was a fan of yours. That's you Steve. are now being introduced to Mike Riley, oh, who rivals word. Mark that, J. Freeman. They kind of scared me for a moment. I didn't know what was happening. I thought somebody was going to start insulting me. <laughs> oh no! What is it, Mike? What are you talking about? I'm a first-time caller. I don't know what. Yeah. Oh, oh, please, mm. Mike Riley. Well, how you doing, Mike? Everybody. Hey Billy. <laughs> Hi. How are you? <laughs> no, it's, not, it's nice. It's nice to be. Um, you just had that deep, that deep timber in your voice. I got it made me a little nervous. I could feel it in my loins. <laughs> I, I, I feel like that's where he wanted you to feel. Yeah. It. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, the the floor is yours. I know you you've waited so long for this moment. So you go ahead. Well, hello to everyone. Hello Hi. to Marcy. I've spoken to Marcy twice already. Yeah, uh, lovely to see you again. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say um, thank you, uh, Tony, for seeing the floor is mine. Mm-hmm. I, I plan on taking it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I just, uh, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of of, of Billy's. Uh, I have an ongoing feud with with Mark about uh, who crushes on you, loves you more, uh, oh. but not in that sick psychotic way that Mark <laughs> feels it. You know, but in a in a in a scene 
rational way. You know, uh, no, we actually we we messaged each other. We have the feud on on air, but we messaged each other, and I always say, you know, I've spoken to every guest except Billy. Billy, who is the focus of my phone call every time I call it. So this is really, this is a, this is a, a real, a real treat. It's a real treat to be, and, yeah, it's awesome to finally uh, meet you. Great, great. Um, I do want to say, I said the, I said the same to, to Marcy, and I will say the same to you. Um, both of you were so different from uh, the actors that, that played your characters uh, before you, but from day one, I knew it was right. And I, and this goes to, to both of you. I've said this to Marcy already, but, uh, I mean, Billy, you have proved it and delivered in, in spades and smart, funny, sophisticated, a boyish charm. I mean, you brought so many different layers to, to this new adult chat. And, uh, you know, I'm really, really, really sorry to, to see you go. Oh man, that means so much to me. Thank you so much. Mm. Really? Um, it's that's very nice to hear. I'm blush. I'm blushing. Yeah, you are blushing. Yeah. Um, well, well, thank you, Mike Riley, for for calling in. And You're I'm, so and welcome. I'm, I'm happy that you. I was about to murder myself. Moment. I could like literally thirty five times. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh. two phones. I'm, well, I'm I'm very glad you got through. It was meant to be. Yeah. And uh, and when we get the swords well, out, you, you and Mark can really fight. Like <laughs> oh, 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 what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, combat. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> there were two things. What? What did you say, Mike? <laughs> I said, put a ring on it if you really feel that way. Oh, uh, <laughs> what's up, girl? Oh. You have to fight. You have to fight Gina Flynn. Listen, That's, let me. It's a, look, throuples are a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, at this point, it's gonna right, be it's I'll, gonna be four of y'all. Yeah, exactly. I'll call in. All right, thanks, Mike. Right. I appreciate it. Let, let All right, me, good luck on everything, both of you. Love uh, you both. Thank you. Good luck Bye, to you Mike. too. Thanks, Mike. Bye, Mike. Let me tell you who's not fighting for Billy Flynn. Me. <laughs> I thought we put that all oh, that stuff behind us. Well, you know, there there still has to be that little moment. I'll sit at the wedding though of you and Mike Riley and I come and here. I open myself up. I'm vulnerable. This is how I'm treated. <laughs> you know, you, you know, I have nothing but love for you. Next Lord. caller. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to After Buzz TV's Dishing Days. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, make sure you uh you mute your your computer there. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're, you're on live. Make sure you mute, oh. mute your mute your, mute your computer Hi. in the back. What? Or turn it. Mute your computer. Wow. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we can hear you. All right, you. I shut my computer. <laughs> um, Hi. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name's Amy. I'm calling all the way from Calabasas. Hey. Hi, Amy. Calabasas. <laughs> I've watched since 1981. I oh will always watch days, yes. and I want to tell. Billy and Marcy, you two are both phenomenal actors. Billy, you became the grown-up Chad, and Marcy, uh, you are Abigail. You guys absolutely are both wonderful, and I really would like to see you both nominated for Emmys this year and win. Yes. Um, yes. thank you. I, I think you're both phenomenally talented, and you'll do great. But my question is, that being said, was it, were it, was it hard decisions for you guys to choose to leave days? and pursue other acting work. Mm. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's those kind of decisions are, are always challenging because you always care so much about it and you, you grow to love the people and the place and everything. And so to say, to make a conscious choice to step away from something that you really care about is not that easy. But I, I knew that I wanted to try to do other things. And in order to do that, um, I had to leave, and I knew the longer that I stayed, the harder it would mm. just be for me to, to step away, because then these people would become more important and more integral parts of my life, and um, it was kind of like ripping the Band-Aid off like now or never, because I had other things I wanted to give a shot, so yeah, yeah. But, it's, but it's hard, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, I think the same, uh, I mean, for me, it's, it was a bit different, because uh, I had chosen to, I was going to be leaving later, and the show kind of pushed it up a bit for me, which was unexpected. Um, you know, and, and rightfully so. I mean, they, they kind of, because it just made sense, you know, and so I got that. But I think planning to leave in October and then and then leaving in August instead uh, um, was a bit of a shock, so it kind of made it real. And, and yeah, same thing. I was like, oh, wow, there's a lot of feelings underneath all of this because I didn't think there would be as many. Um, and there's a lot of fear behind leaving uh, mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of kind of what is. But at the end of the day, it's it's one of those things that, uh, you kind of have to um, just trust, yes. kind of in, the, right. in, in yes. everything that it's that it's 
that it's gonna work out. And, and like, and, and to that said, like, you know, uh, the door's never closed. Yeah. So, um, you know, as long as, as long as, you know, I'm alive and days are still in the air, you know, hopefully there's, there's that possibility of coming back. Right. Well, I wish you both a whole lot of luck. Um, I think you're both very, very talented. Um, and I'm very sorry about what you went through, Billy. A lot of us have struggled with some things in our lives at times similar to what you did. Um, and I'm very happy to hear you're doing better now. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you so sure. much for calling in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, so... You know, Billy, you had mentioned um, Willowbrook, which mm -hmm. is um, something that you're in the midst of working on. And I know Marcy Fear mm -hmm. is something that you wrapped up on. Mm -hmm. Wanted to let you know that Susan Moore Harmon says hi. Where is she? Well, we... we <laughs> is she we, here? We belong to a theater company. Oh, so open up. Is she here? Come on down. It could so happen was, on this show. Yeah. Yeah. When I was going through the credits, like... Oh my God, Susan and Marcy work together. So I connected with Susan. Like this woman, she is loves you out of and adores this, you. Out of this world. I same. It's so so mutual. Oh my gosh. Oh, so she okay. Says, hey. Hi, hi back. Well, I'll text her. Hey okay, back. But you can do. tell her I said it too. <laughs> She's but. listening. I'm sure. Oh, Susan, so. I love you. I need to text you back. I love you. <laughs> Talk a little bit about fear. Yeah, great, great. It's so different than anything that I've ever done. Um, I was there's a gentleman that, that wrote the script that I had worked with uh, before and so he asked me to, to come on and it was such a trip it's one of my favorite creative experiences I think I've ever had it, had, it was a lot of work physically we mm. shot in the I felt like we were shooting the revenant a lot of times it's like <laughs> freaking 20 degrees and I'm dragging like things and it's across the like hundred a hundred and some odd pounds across the snow it's just it's a lot of it was a lot of work physically um, but so, so fun. It's in the vein of like a, um, a quiet place in the sense that it's kind of a single family thriller. Um, it's just this family against the world, kind of like trying to figure out stuff. I'm being vague on purpose. <laughs> but well, we expect you to please keep us yeah. posted. But I will. It's, yes. it, they did a beautiful job. Jason Tobias is the writer and co-director and Jeff, um, my buddy Jeff directed it. I'm really optimistic and think it's got a good shot, so. Excellent. That's it. And Susan <laughs> Harmon is out of this world. Man, she's so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, unfortunately, that is our time. I wish we had another we hour. Can't take more oh. so fast. We yeah. can't. Wow. We have to. We have to wrap up. But um, maybe uh, if you guys have a few minutes afterwards, mm -hmm. we can go on our audition days live on Instagram and maybe take a few people. Yeah. for a few yeah. minutes yeah. so um, yeah we're, we're gonna wrap things up here but uh, make sure you check us out on Instagram we'll go live on Dishing Days and we'll answer more of your questions there for a few minutes um, so that way they don't feel like we're about to kidnap them <laughs> um, but before we go uh, Michael Mattis let yes. those kind folks know where they can find you Instagram ML Mattis you yeah. ML Mattis Every time. Time. It is, it's Twitter ML social. Mattis 1 there. Okay. Um, Twitter, Tammy Govea, and Insta, Facebook, Tammy Govea Official. And Billy Flynn, where can they continue to send you thirst tweets and <laughs> uh -huh. DMs uh, and Instagram, all that? Uh, I'm actually just going to take real quick just to say thank you to everyone who, who watched yeah. and reached out. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you have no idea what you meant to me over the last four mm. years. Mm, yeah. I echo that. Yeah, you have. We see far more of it probably than you even realize, mm -hmm. and it and we carry it with us in and out of that place all the time. So, mm -hmm. so thank you very, very much. Yeah, and of course we here can't tell you all enough how much we appreciate your work and what you've done on the show, and we truly appreciate it. Just talking about the great things that you brought to the show. So thank you, thank you, and yeah. and to you too Billy thank you for for being open and honest uh, yes. with us today I mm -hmm. I truly appreciate that <laughs> and you know letting fans in on some real life situations True. so yeah. mm -hmm. yes I appreciate that mm -hmm. thank Absolutely. you thank you um, you guys can find all of us <laughs> on Instagram thank and you. Facebook on Dish and Days and you can find little old me on all social media platforms at Lounge with Tony or my website loungewithtony.com we'll see you guys next week for another full recap of your favorite soap opera Days of Our Lives bye, bye. everybody bye bye <laughs> Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. 
So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.